Hello and welcome to my channel, your channel, it's Militube. This narrow alleyway was once the only outlet to the Sadian tombs from Al Mansur Mosque. Yes, so what is the story then? In this video, I will let you know some facts and informations which you don't know about the Sadian tombs. I will start with the first fact and say that Moroccans and especially the inhabitants who lived in Marrakesh in the 18th, 19th and the beginning of the 20th century did not know that there were Sadian tombs in Marrakesh. More than that, they didn't even know that there were kings of the Sadian dynasty who reigned in Morocco and used Marrakesh as their capital city. Only a few ancient families knew the history of the Sadians. Among them, the Glawi family. However, they kept it secret so as to protect it from destruction. The men who revealed the secret of the graves and showed it to the public is a French historian. His name is Maurice Tranchant du Lunel. And that was in 1917. He mentioned it in his book entitled Au Pays du Paradoxe, published in 1924. And he said in his book that while he was talking with a Tammy Glowy one evening about fine arts, suddenly Glowy started talking about ancient sultans of Morocco and mentioned Sadian sultans, then fell silent. After that, he started talking again and said, sorry, he started talking again and said, You French people admire beautiful things and know how to preserve them. And continued, Actually, there are a lot of beautiful things left into oblivion. Uh, they need just a little restoration and become once again as they used to be in the past. After all this, the French historian kept silent. Then Glaoui asked him in a direct way this time, Do you like to see Then he dressed him in the Moroccan traditional way and took him through Dul Mansour Mosque, the only outlet to the graves at that time. The French historian related the discovery of this treasure in his book, saying that he saw trees, a dome, mosaics, plaster, tile work, and marble, marble, etc. After that, the French historian presented his report to the authorities, explaining that the graves should be restored. Yes, the Sadian graves. You can see here the main chamber here. This is a magnificent door which gives access to this beautiful 
beautifully decorated, gorgeous room or chamber called the Twelve Pillars Chamber, the Chamber of the Kings, the Saadian Kings, among them the king under the reign of whom Marrakesh and Morocco knew the Golden Age and glorious days. So, the Saadian tombs are almost the only remains of the Saadian dynasty, or the dynasty under the reign of whom Marrakesh knew its golden days and glorious age. The other constructions were destroyed by a sultan of their successors. Architecturally speaking, the historic tomb complex consists of two magnificent mausoleums. Yes, the complex houses the tombs of seven sultans in total and 62 family members and loyal servants of the Saadian dynasty, which ruled in Morocco from 1549 to 1659. Under their reign, Marrakesh rose to become the seat of the government in 1554. So, the two mausoleums in this graveyard are the Eastern Dome, which is the first nucleus of the graveyard. It was built by Abdullah al Ghalib to honor his father and founder of the Saadian dynasty, who was killed in 1557 by the Ottomans. And uh, after the death of Lalla Sauda, the mother of Ahmed al-Mansur al Dhabi, in 1591, the mausoleum was made fit to her social rank. So here we can see that's the mausoleum in the Eastern Dome, yes, the first to be built in this graveyard. And then we have the Western Dome, which is composed of two, sec two main sections. The first one is the Mihrab Chamber, originally used or originally was used as a uh, prayer hall. And later, children tombs were added, as well as one of the Alawite sultans died in 1792, Mulay Yazid. Then we have the Twelve Pillars Chamber, which we have just seen in the video. It served as the main mausoleum. It has 12 columns and pillars and the magnificent door that gives access to the large funeral hall, the King's Hall. In this chamber, the tomb of Sultan Ahmed al-Mansur al dhabi or the Golden, uh, rests in the middle of the room along with those of his family. The tomb is overhang by a cedar wooden dome dotted with gold leaf and decorated with poetic epitaphs. And here outside we have some tombs of loyal servants and uh, decent descendants of the families of the Sadian sultans. And you can see it's highly and richly decorated with the Moroccan style of construction.
and architecture, tile work, cedar wood, carved and painted cedar wood, plaster, and a lot of calligraphy, sometimes poetic epitaphs. Yes, it is a treasure indeed, which was discovered in 1917, after having fallen into almost into oblivion. Thank you so much for having viewed.